Our first guest is the biggest star in the world's most popular sport from your Los Angeles galaxy. Ladies and gentlemen, here's David Beckham. Wow. Have a seat. Thank you. That looks, uh, that looks like a pretty lousy uh, injury. You had, it was a leg, I'm guessing, right? Yes. How, how did you injure yourself? Um, playing for AC Milan, I stepped back and just heard the pop and felt down and the foot was all floppy and I realized I'd done my uh, Achilles tendon. I actually severed your Achilles tendon, yes. snapped. Uh, and, and, and at what point did it come loose from the bone? Did it snap in two? Where, where? Straight away, straight away. As soon as, uh, as, soon as I stepped backwards, I, I heard the pop and uh, looked down and, and I could feel the tendon curling up into my calf. Wow. Sorry. <laughs> well, that's, I was going to ask you about that. That's what people always say, that the thing just rolls up like a, a window shade or something, and that truly yep. was, was the experience. And, and perhaps the most painful injury a, a, an athlete can endure? Um, it's one of the most, I mm -hmm. think. Yeah. Um, it's not a good one to have. And, and what, what were you, you, you doing? You, just, you took a step and it happened? It was literally in the last minute of the game and uh, stepped back and there it went. And what about stepping back would cause that? <laughs> um, I think I'd been running too much in the game and mm -hmm. I was tired, a minute left and it just went. Yeah. Is it, is it because uh, you've played so much soccer in your life or could it happen to anybody? Um, it could happen to anybody but I think in the last two years I've been pushing myself pretty hard mm -hmm. because I, I wanted to get into the World Cup and stay in the English national team and I've been flying obviously from LA, playing there. Right flying back to Europe, um, playing there and then coming back. So I've, I think I've been pushing it quite hard and it just gave up. Now I explain to me, because uh, as you know, Americans are pretty much soccer ignorant. Um, <laughs> ex explain to me how a, a, a superstar, the, the face of uh, European soccer, can play for a handful of different teams. Like, like the Yankees, uh, you know, like Derek Jeter doesn't play a couple of weeks here and then go play for a team in Japan. Yeah. You know, he's, he pretty much plays here. Now, how are you able to do this? Well, it was a loan spell that the Galaxy um, was kind enough to actually let me do in the first place um, where I finished the season with the Galaxy um, and then played from Christmas onwards. It was meant to be for three months, but then it turned into six months. Um, the Galaxy just let me do that because um, I needed to do it to stay in the English national team and, uh, and then I came back to LA, played the, the rest of the season and then um, again went back the Christmas after um, to try and stay in the team to play in the World Cup. Now, so that was your, your personal goal as you wanted to compete uh, for your home country uh, again in, in the World Cup. Now, is, is the Galaxy, they must be pissed about this. Um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they, they, paid, they paid you an enormous sum of money to come to this country. Yes, they did. Um, and of course, you know, it's one of them things that just, just happened, you know. It's, uh, it's nothing that I could have prevented or, um, you know, it just, just was one of those things. But even, even if you were playing for the Galaxy when it happened, they'd have been pissed about that. Exactly. So wherever it would have happened, I'm sure they wouldn't have been. Well, that's happy. the kind of people they are. But you know what? <laughs> <laughs> But they have always supported me since mm -hmm. I signed the contract, you know, to allow me to do that and then obviously give me the support that they've given me. Tim Lewicki um, from, from, you know, the organization has been, you know, tremendous with me. So, um, but you know, know, it would, be so, it would be so great and you're the guy to do it. One-legged soccer. Have you thought about it? <laughs> Honestly, um, if you go out there and play on one leg, I mean, you're more than a hero now. Think of what that will do. <laughs> you know, I'll, have a tr I'll have a go. I'll try anything. Okay, now let's take a look at this. This is the, uh, yeah, it's like Thanksgiving at my house. <laughs> this is the surgery on your Achilles tendon, so they gotta, they got to find it, they got to roll it back down and reconnect it. Yeah, well, what they did, they, they cut open the top of my calf, 
um, pulled the tendon back down, mm -hmm. cut open my Achilles and reattached. Hooked it back up. And is, is this one of those injuries where uh, 30, 40 years ago, they probably, they could do it but not do it too well. Now I'm guessing they'll say you're going to be uh, better than new with this surgery, right? Yeah, they said um, as long as I follow the rules and, and you know, don't try and rush back too quickly, mm -hmm. then uh, I should heal well and be playing um, start of November, e even before that, I hope. Just in time to go back to AC Milan. <laughs> 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 it's just, he can't catch a break. <laughs> but, um, y y you know, we've been trying to uh, promote soccer, the, the beautiful game, and uh, I can remember in the, the 70s, late 60s, something Pele uh, did much the same and came to this country, played for the, the New York, uh, he was playing for Cosmos, yep. and he came here and was playing for the, who was he playing for? The Cosmos, playing here for the Cosmos. I yeah. uh, played for Santos in, in Brazil. Uh, and, and do you feel that soccer has, uh, the stature of it has gained since then in the last 40 years or so? Um, I think definitely in the last 10 years because I think the, the league back then, you know, it was great. There was one team with all these stars in, you know, like mm -hmm. Pele and, and players like that. And um, But I think now it, the league is more stable, you know, the, the game is more stable. and. It's not as popular as obviously uh, many other sports in, in the US, but um, it's getting there and it will get there because mm -hmm. it's such a popular sport with young kids around this country and uh, it's just about changing it and, and making it popular and, and making kids realize that actually right. there's a great future for And, for, and for you, this was automatic when you were a kid. This is what everybody did, what everybody played. And, and what country is the, the origin of soccer? Is it uh, Great Britain? I believe it is, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, you hear, if, if you listen to, which I do, because